no disclosure. The, the knowledge in the anterior approach must be mandatory in a spine surgeon as well as the cervical anterior approach. The, in a leaf, the retraction of the peritoneum is the way um, to reach the prevertebral soft tissue and great vessels. The main cause of the bleeding in a leaf 5-1 is because uh, the traction over the left iliac veins without the control in the presacral veins uh, is the this principal reason because in 95% of the case, the presacral veins depend of the left iliac veins. For this reason, the first step in the a leaf 5-1 is the control, the coagulation or ligation or clip in the, in the presacral vein, and then you can get the mobilization in the left iliac vein, and you can get on the great window uh, uh, with the retraction or the Hohmann retractor or the blade, etc. in 5-1. This is the, the, the window in 5-1 but it's different in the other level in the A-leaf anterior approach. For this reason, when you do the approach in A-leaf 5-1, it's necessary the actual planning in, in, in the M MRI because it's necessary the great window between the iliac veins uh, in 5-1. For this reason, it's important the, the, the planning uh, in MRI. Unfortunately, in the 4-5, only 70% of the approach, you can work between the iliac veins. In the 8% of the case, it's necessary the great retraction and the, and the ligation of the iliolumbar vein. For this reason, the question today is, is necessary the, the occlusion of the iliolumbar vein? In the ALE 4 5, yes. But the question is, Today is necessary the occlusion or, or ligation, the iliolumbar vein in 4-5, maybe not. For this reason, Dr. Pimenta and co-workers, they found the another way, they found the another surgery, the lateral uh, approach in the 4-5, 3-4, etc. In my opinion, today 5-1 A-leaf is only the A leaf is only in 5 1 because in the 4 5 in the other level is the O leaf or lateral approach is, is much better. But what happened with the, with the accident, the injuries in A leaf is the tears of the pre pre presacral vein, the tears of the iliolumbar vein in 4 5, or the injury in the iliac vein. In this case, uh, uh, the primary repair is necessary. The arterial injury is and less common because the artery is strong and the mobilization is more easy than when you compare with the vein. In, the, in, in, in this case, uh, the, the primary repair is the option, but uh, if you do uh, the multi-repairs, uh, they increase the risk of the thrombosis. And in some cases, it's necessary the filter in the cava vein. When you have uh, this exposition in a, in a leaf, the first target is the control to the left iliac vein in, the, in, in this case. When you, when you review the, the vascular accident today in a leaf cases in the neurosurgical or, or orthopedic uh, service, when, when they service work with the vascular surgeon, the complication, uh, vascular complication is less than 2%. Olive is different because only is necessary left because the work window is between the artery and psoas. For this reason, it's necessary the retraction of the iliac in the case uh, 3, 4, and 4, and 4, 5, and the aorta in 2, 3, and in some cases in 3, 4. But in olive, the target is the iliolumbar vein. It's different to, uh, uh, than olive because uh, in some cases, the iliolumbar vein is near to the end plate in 4-5, or in some cases is over the disc. But in, in, uh, in, in this case, if, if you have a, um, a iliolumbar near to the end plate in, in L5, uh, 
one pin in the retractor is enough because you can avoid the, the, the damage in the, in the Venus in the L5 in this case. The planning, the planning is absolutely necessary in the axial, in the axial in MRI. For example, in, in, in this case, you can see the, the iliolumbar vein just over the L3-4 disc. In this case, the lateral way is the better option. And the olive, the, the vascular injury is in, in the in the vein, iliolumbar vein. And in some cases, uh, in 4-5, in the common iliac vein. For this reason, it's necessary to avoid the retraction, the iliolumbar vein, before the li ligation or coagulation, uh, in, in this case, in olive. Now, in the single position, I think that is necessary a new learning curve because it's absolutely different when you compare with a leaf in supine position because the step-by-step -step of the manipulation of the soft tissue and the vessel is completely different uh, in this case. In, in my case, it was necessary uh, uh, to work again with the access surgeon in my first cases in single position because in my mind, in lateral position is different uh, when you compare with a leaf. In this case, it's mandatory uh, new training and new learning curve in this case. And the step is, dif is different when, when the patient is in lateral position because uh, in my case, the first step is uh, uh, the position of the, of the bulb in the, in the right side and then the coagulation of the, of the presacal vein and then the left side of the bulb. When you compare the lateral axis with the O leaf and A leaf, the lateral axis has less uh, vascular complication. Uh, in this case, the order in vascular complication is A leaf, O leaf, and lateral axis. However, it's necessary when you put the pin in the lateral, uh, the pin re re retractor is not near to the midline of the vertebral body because in this segment is the segmentary artery. In, in this publication, in, in 200 uh, cases, eight cases of vascular complication was in the segmentary artery, and only case in the, in the aorta uh, was necessary the laparotomy in this case. 15 years ago, Salvador Breu is the access surgeon. 15 years ago, in 1,300 cases, only 1.5% of lesion in the in in the venous and 0.5 percent is the accident in the iliac artery, the thrombosis. In the another publication, in 200 cases, the complication is less than five percent, and the tricks is the preoper the preoperatory planning and the timing is uh, with the autostatic retractor. And the reintervention is another story because the risk of vascular complication in the same level is 42%, and the adjacent level is 20%. For this reason, it's necessary always to uh, access surgeons in the revision uh, surgery in the anterior way. And is it necessary a, 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 a access surgeon? Maybe yes, maybe not. And the access Surgeon, uh, days uh, 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 have uh, any su suggestion for the uh, spine surgeon that uh, 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 want to do the, the, the approach. Practice with general surgeons, choose simple case, planning, training in course, and studying in cadaver's lab. But what is the reason of complication? Reason related to patient, related to surgeon, and related to implant. In this case, 15 years later, any contraindication is uh, today is through the obesity, previous abdominal surgery, previous radiation treatment, and aberrant vascular anatomy. And contraindication, the body mass index over 40, and the vascular cal calcification because uh, the, uh, the height complication rate is very, very bad. Take home message, the knowledge of vascular anatomy, 
preoperative planning and transoperative management are fundamental in their anterior approach. One level is safe, two level or more increase the risk of vascular damage, obesity and vascular calcification increase the risk of the vascular damage. And in the review surgery, always with the vascular surgeon. Thank you. <laughs> Question? Remarkably low uh, thrombosis rate, rate there, half a percent. I, I, I think I, I definitely see more than that. It's certainly related to speed, but if I have one, very little. I think four, five, it gets you, and then three, four, three, four also, just the amount of retraction. You just have to move it so far when you pull everything over to the right side, I think. It yes. certainly increases your rate. And speed is of the essence as long as you don't uh, yeah. have a problem with your, with your speed. So. Um, the more we look at this, I think the more we see vascular anomalies as well, where you just perhaps should choose another approach. Yes. Um, any questions or experience with uh, tips and tricks, vascular injuries? Are there some patients who are still on the thrombotic side? Uh, we, uh, we, st we start uh, heparin, I, I do 5,000 units, be, uh, TID immediately in the PACU right after the case. So. And they they immediately, they do not go home with it as soon as they're up and walking. They do not? Do not go home with it, no. What, what, yes. do, what do you do? No. No. Yes. Well, what about the ureter? Um, in revision cases, do you put splints in there? Um, or um, how do you get over that problem of ureter lesions, adhesions? When you do the anterior surgery, because normally it's supposed to, when you start it, you should identify the ureter, prepare it back. But uh, in revision cases, it's sometimes difficult. There might be adhesions you're not able to identify. So what we used in our old clinic was to put ureter splints uh, so we could at least uh, touch them out of the scar tissue. Is there something you do when you do revision cases for the ureter? Only one case in the ProDisc in 4-5 was a crazy surgery because the bleeding control is very difficult. And the, when you retire the, M, the, the placement in the, in, the, in the end plate, was necessary transfusion, was necessary repair of the iliac vein common, and uh, was necessary the prosthesis in the bifurcation of the, of the iliac common. Uh, Doctor, I refer the more ureter. to the, the ureter. So the u ur, the ureter, like from particularly, to the... particularly in revision surgery, if there's scar, how do you prevent the ureter injury? Ah, okay. So the 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 conduit from the kidney down to the bladder, the ureter, where we have some com complications. I have not been stenting any of these. I, I don't. I haven't done that many revision anterior approaches. Um, haven't had any ureter injuries yet, but I'm sure that's that's. Uh, Something that's um, you know commonly encountered. Do you have any thoughts on on no. your material? No. In this case, no. Uh, with a cystoscope, uh, a double J catheter in the ureter, yeah. and we don't have any problem. Um, we don't uh, use to. to revision surgery, we have two cases just, and this trauma case, we, we put the, the catheter and everything go, go well. Put the catheter and then pull it out at the end. Yeah, after. And remove it. Yes. Great. Uh, one issue for the vascular uh, problems uh, for the possible re-entering to the same space is to using uh, non adherent mesh grafts uh, onto the uh, space that you operated. If you do that in the first operation, thinking that there may be a possibility to get in there, then th there will be less scar tissue and it will be much easier to, uh, to do that. I usually do a lot of pelvic tumor cases, so these are a little bit open, not a miss surgery. Sure. So in this case, we deal with a lot of uh, arteries and veins, so we we pre prepare the arteries and veins all the way down and put a loop, uh, security loop. Security loop, so if there's any bleeding, 
you can easily control with, you know, uh, ascending the loops and then stitching it. And I believe that if you are doing an anterior surgery your, yourself, that you need to have a, 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 some kind of education of vascular repair, or you should get in touch with your vascular colleagues. But not the, you know, the, the, the surgeons, heart surgeons, what they do, uh, you know, uh, bypass surgery. They're not that much uh, skilled like the peripheric vascular surgeons. Mm -hmm. I think those are good points. Yeah, I haven't been using much uh, mesh. Don't plan to go back uh, very often. But for for tumor, that's a, that's a little bit of a different uh, story. I've seen these these placental graphs as well to lay across here, and all kinds of fancy, really expensive graphs that that you can put across there that are supposed to prevent adhesions. Should you want to go back, um, all possibilities. I don't, I don't have too much experience with these. Oh, yeah, for revisions. Yeah. Uh, we, we here at, in, in New York, we use vascular surgeons uh, for, for our approaches. We just don't do our own approaches. I think 5-1 might be a reasonable thing to learn, um, but I think 4-5 in any serious mobilization is, is uh, I, I didn't get any experience to it in residency or fellowship. It's just outside of what we train to do. Um, so I, I wouldn't be doing those approaches on my own, I don't think. I think the AO Strasbourg course was very uh, helpful for this because I was there for at least uh, 12 years as an educator, but I educated myself sure. also during the, this uh, 12 years period with the vascular complications. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Dr.